And with that being changed already, uh, instead of creating another question, I'm just going to go inside and straight away and do question 21. And this one, it asks us to create one too many relationship between the primary key field of the staff table and the class underscore code. This is pretty straightforward start stuff and heading back into our Microsoft Access. To create the relationship tables, we have to go to the create ribbon and at the top, sorry, now we're in, in order to create the relationship, we have to head over to the database tools. And here is where we can select a relationship and this will allow us to create a relationship tables. So in this particular question, they ask us to combine the staff table and the test table. So all we have to do is to double click the staff table and we have the list of field names being applied right here in the middle of this relationship editor. And then we're gonna double click the M2 treatments. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is gonna put them side by side and to create the many one-to-many -many relationship, I'm gonna highlight this two table, make sure that the yellow color has been highlighted, let it go. And here we can just go ahead and select and edit relationships at the top left. With that, you can go ahead and create a new relationship right here. And this menu comes up and you select the staff table and then the test table. Now on the left column name and the right column name, we can base on this. And they ask us to use the primary key field of the staff table and the class underscore code right here. So the primary key field of staff was uh, class code literally. And that we're going to place that with the class code as well. So two things are the same. We can just go ahead and select OK and create like one too many relationships. And you can just see right over there that the relationships are created with the line right there. The class code are you now both length. And with that being created, we can go ahead and go to the next point, which is creating the houses table and then connect that with the house underscore code of the test table. Now, this primary key field of the house table, we can just go ahead and double click the table right there. And you can see that the house code is already the primary key field of the M2 to 3 houses. Now, I like to place this on uh, next to the M2 to 3 staff, the particular table that we need to uh, link, or sorry, not the staff table, rather the that test table right over here. So. For me, I like to put it side by side so that the relationship, when it's connected, it's going to make sense visually. And what I'm going to do right there is going to highlight these two tables or this two list that was required by the question itself. And uh, I'm just going to extend that so that you can see. So this two being highlighted, and what I'm going to do is just go ahead and create relationships right there. So let it create new, as you usually do. This time we can actually select the M2 tree houses table on the left. And the right one will be D, I think, test, if I'm not mistaken, it's the test. So we have to select the house code. This time we also select the house code for both of these. Select OK, create a relationship. You're going to be able to see that the relationships are being created and these databases are being linked based on this. With that, we have to produce a evidence document that we created one to many relationship with these in table. You can do just screenshot the area where it's clear. For me, I like to select these things and leave out everything else. And then screenshot this. Go on ahead and open up the Word or evidence file. And for me, I didn't really save this. So I'm just going to go ahead and just place this right under here. All right. So this one is, um, I should use the page view of that. So I have a question 19 previously, and in this particular one, I'm going to create the, uh, I'm going to edit anyway, this read only document. So question 20 events, display there and paste the picture right inside. You can see that this screenshot showing the one to many relationship is really clear. And this will enable the examiners to see that the screenshot 